write songs, I always start with with music, melodies, rhythms, and uh, most anything other than lyrics, really. And uh, I seldom have anything but a line or two at the time the song is music musically finished. Perhaps a title, uh, so I can tell the demo apart from all the other demos that I have. The demo lyrics that um, help me write the songs are sometimes really difficult to shake off in a way that. Uh, like for example, half a marathon man. I, I already had the uh, lyrics for the chorus on, on, on the demo, and it was fairly impossible for me to kind of take them out and, and somehow shake it off and change the whole theme of the song afterwards. And, and the song, song itself, it came out so fast, anyways. And uh, well, I just tried to write the song lyrically, otherwise around it somehow. And, and uh, really anything can spark a song in me and inspire me as a songwriter. I just lay my fingers on the keyboards and, and uh, or on the fretboard and I may or may not find a song from there. And it's always like that. Depends on the day really and I uh, always try to find a new thing, uh, new sounds, styles or just about anything that would somehow help me to get a new angle on, on whatever it is that I'm, I'm trying to achieve or, or even if I'm trying to come up with something in the same style as what I've done before I try to find something new even if it's just sound and the outcome usually is something that sounds like some Antarctica no matter what I do and well, that's that's really not the point what is important is, is finding new roads and paths to get there that's important, I think. It's somehow vital for me as a songwriter. Uh, it, it, it's fun. I enjoy it really. It's a big part of why I continue and want to continue doing this until I'm 110 years old or something like that. And uh, I suppose I'm selfish in that way. But I just love my music. In, in the Stone Scroll name, I, I found again the simplicity as a songwriter, you know. that had like basic parts and, and, and I wasn't trying to do anything too fancy which was the way of doing things in, a, in the beginning you know with Ecliptica and, uh, and slowly I started to make more uh, complex things but, but now with, with stones I found, found simplicity again and, and now <laughs> uh, closing the circle with, with the style there are a lot of power metal songs this album and I, I think I like it. It's 15 years in making and finally we're taking our boat back home and, and, and it feels really good and safe. Sonata Arctica has always been more than just power metal band and it's been kind of suffocating to hear from people who really love power metal that uh, Sonata Arctica is not really power metal, although we tend to call ourselves that. And that has kind of confused me in, in a lot of ways. You know, I, I, I didn't have home <laughs> musically in that sense, or Sonata Arctica didn't, didn't have a home because we were doing something that didn't seem to fit any, any square, like tightly and nobody seemed to accept us but everybody seemed to have a different title for what it is that we do and it was it was suffocating in some ways and, and I just tried to find some solid base for what we do and, uh, and uh, which kind of consequently led us making few albums that were totally different from the line of albums that we started with the four first albums and of course you know there was other things as well you know we, we got tired and, and uh, there was some kind of burnout burnout kind of feeling in the band as well at least i felt that and we, we got really tired with with what we did and now i think it, it's a good time to come back now i think we thought that we're too fucking old for this shit but uh, but you know, when we grew up and then finally came through from the other end of the tunnel, as this Summer of Arctica you will discover now from this uh, Pariah's Child album. I think it's, it's really important that bands 
reinvent themselves and try to find new ways of doing things. But it's it's also important that you that you find a core in what you do and what is really the, the essence of the band. And uh, maybe we are finally getting back there. You know, it's an adventure being in a band and having a career such as this and uh, um, this is a new beginning I think in many ways and stories far from over you know, we're back the old logo is back and Sonata is back